VMware Cloud on AWS provides a public REST API, so you can incorporate infrastructure management operations into your DevOps workflows or automated processes. The REST API is accessible through a wide range of clients and languages. An easy way to get familiar with this REST API is with the API Explorer, an intuitive web interface that requires no installation or configuration. You can find the API Explorer by clicking on the Developer Center sidebar after logging in to the VMware Cloud on AWS console. The API Explorer executes APIs against your active environment, scoped according to the currently selected VMware Cloud organization. Certain APIs are applicable to a specific SDDC, so you can select the one you prefer to work with by using the drop-down list. If your SDDC includes NSXT, then you will also have access to various NSX APIs from the API Explorer. Some commands only read configuration data, while others make changes or deletions to aspects of your VMware Cloud configuration. So please exercise caution when experimenting with the API Explorer. In general, the get commands only read information and do not make changes like the post, patch, and delete commands do. The API Explorer can be used as a model to understand the REST APIs that you intend to call from external systems. And it can also be used to execute commands that are not otherwise exposed in the standard user interface. For example, if you've linked multiple AWS accounts with your VMware organization and need to remove one, there's an API available under AWS Account Connection Operations. It's also easy to view a list of linked AWS accounts. Making an SDDC configuration change is simple too. For example, you can set the DNS resolution for management interfaces to be public or private. By default, API Explorer will warn you before executing a command that makes changes. Many SDDC operations can be automated through the REST API, such as adding or removing hosts, or even provisioning or deleting an entire SDDC. You can drill down to view configuration details about an SDDC or cluster. Perhaps you need to programmatically determine the URL for the vCenter client interface. Finally, be aware that the entire VMware Cloud on AWS API specification is available for download in JSON format for further exploration and reference. This has been an overview of VMware Cloud API Explorer, an easy way to get started with the VMware Cloud REST API, a powerful programming interface that enables you to incorporate infrastructure management operations into your DevOps workflows and other automation processes. Be sure to visit VMware Cloud Tech Zone for the latest VMware Cloud on AWS technical resources.